Bonjour, mes amis. Welcome to my kitchen. I am Derek from the Olive Oil Company. I'm gonna stop talking in a French accent now and start talking normally just in case I offend anybody, but tonight we are actually making a French dish. We are doing Herbe de Provence roasted poulet or chicken. Uh, let's get started. So of course for this recipe you will need a four to five pound chicken. Uh, we actually have here a almost six and a half pound beautiful free range chicken from Nick's Picks Organics and Old 99 Farm out in Dundas. Uh, this is some of the best quality chicken that we have had uh, in a long time. Honestly, anything you get from Old 99 Farm is some of the best. Uh, I can't really say that enough. So with this, we are actually going to be doubling the amount of what the uh, recipe has just to go with this, this nice uh, big chicken here. Now the ingredients for this is really simple. You will need a lemon or multiple depending on the size of your chicken. Uh, really for these ingredients, I can't really give you much of amounts just because our chicken is bigger than what the actual recipe called for. Um, but you will need also minced garlic at least uh, three cloves. Uh, you will also need salt and pepper as well as quarter cup of unsalted butter. The only product that you're gonna need from our store is the Herbe de Provence infused olive oil. This is a mix of lavender, rosemary, savory, thyme, and bay leaf. Really just herbs that scream comfort food. Uh, this is gonna make a beautiful flavor for our chicken. Now the lemons you are going to be inserting into the cavity of the chicken. First, what you want to do with these is you want to stab them with a knife. Stab, 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 I think it's done. So again, because our chicken is different from the size in the recipe, I can't really give you amounts, but what we're doing now is we're putting all the ingredients except the lemons uh, into this bowl. So we've got our half a stick of butter, adding the Herbe de Provence oil to this. So we have a little more to work with. And we are adding our minced garlic in there too. Just a note, I did break up the butter just a little bit just so we could get a better mixture with all that. So, you grab yourself a spatula. Also, we're adding our pepper and salt into here too. And then you mix. Just try to really get everything in there. I did find a better way to break down the butter was to actually get a fork out rather than a spatula. It just kind of allowed us to really mash the butter into the side of the bowl, kind of like making a mashed avocado. Um, so now this is a pretty good consistency and we are going to be using this to baste our chicken. So both lemons are going to be going into the cavity of our chicken. Number one, number two. Once you have them in there, you're going to want to take the legs and just tie them together with some twine. All right, so we're at the moment where it's time to get your hands dirty. Uh, you want to take some of the marinade in your hand. So I'm going to try to get this here. You basically shove it onto your chicken breast. Make sure you get it nice and coated in there. Right in there if you can. All nicely coated and basically take some more. You're gonna rub it onto the skin of your chicken. And all those uh, little bits of butter, they're just gonna melt right into the skin. The smell of this already has just got me salivating. Also, just a note that before you even do this part, I forgot to mention, preheat your oven to 475 degrees. Bonjour again! Uh, so as you can see, our chicken had, is fully basted in the herbe de Provence and buttery goodness. 
we are going to put this in our oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until it turns golden brown. So. see you in 30 to 40 minutes. Au revoir. All right guys, so this first bit is done. We did turn our chicken over partway through just to make sure the top and bottom would get nice and brown. As you can see, liquid's coming out, it's getting louder than me, so I just want to make sure we get some of these juices. Here. Get a nice face going on. All that buttery goodness. So now that this is done, we're going to turn the heat down a little bit to 350. Let's get that there. And we're going to let this uh, cook for another 30 to 35 minutes. I see the lemon just kind of coming out there. Hopefully that stays in. Pop it back in. And really we want the thickest part of the thigh meat to be 165 degrees Fahrenheit so we get a perfect cook on that so we'll see you in another almost half hour. We're ready to show it to you. Voila! I had to throw another French word in there. It is gorgeous. It is nice and browned. Uh, at this point we've taken it out of the pan it was cooking in. We're just gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes. You want to make sure that you tent this with foil. The smells in our kitchen are absolutely perfecto. Um, I went Italian instead of French there, but that's okay. So, as you can see, we put it with a couple of sides. We did some smashed potatoes, which is actually a recipe on our website as well. I will put that link in the description. And with the uh, baby carrots, we just added some butter, olive oil, and salt and pepper. So, a couple of classics. Now, of course, to have some of this chicken is absolutely Perfect. Mmm. So good. So moist. It's perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This actually marks our 38th video. We're almost to 40. But unfortunately for this month, guys, we kind of have to take a little hiatus just because December gets so crazy at the store. And to have a day off would actually be nice to have a day off. So, um, for now, it's kind of a, not a goodbye, but see you later. Uh, other than that, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy this recipe. We'll see you guys next time. The only product you're gonna need from our store is the Herbe de Provence infused olive oil. This is a mix of uh, savory, rosemary, lavender, and thyme. Let me check that.